Hi there everyone, I'm Chrissy the Scottish Magpie. Now, we're going to go through a, a death pile today. I'm just going to pull maybe 5-10 items out that I can stick online. So we're at the end of the year between Christmas and New Year. So this is my corner of shame in my loft. <sighs> it's freezing. Um, but yeah, we're at like a, a bit of a lull. So I need to keep putting items on on eBay to keep the algorithms up which always helps. So let's go through some items. We'll pick 10 and then we'll go through them, why I'm going to put those ones on, and then I'm going to go through 10 items that, I'm, that I've sold recently, good items, and that should, if you find them next year, 2023, pick them up, they will sell, and I'll tell you why. So here it is, the corner of shame. Kind of starts from where that chair is, and then that shelf here. Yep, it built up over the years. So let's have a look. See, no, might even recognise some of these pieces, but some of them haven't been on. So fifty p um, for a mycin, I believe that's mycin blue onion. So I'm gonna put that on, and then these two. Now these are, I bought these for five, and then that one for four. Now that's a huge charger, um, and that's who it's by, it's a Gobel. So, we have that. So I think I'll put these on separately though, because this isn't, this is a charger, the size of that plate. Um, than that one and then I think I'll put this one on sorry two seconds <laughs> sorry about that my husband popped up um so this is Italian strawberry jug pitcher um I can't remember how I got much paid for that um it's just a few like it's not chips it's just like glaze chips okay so four and then, right, that, this is um, West Germany, see under there, it's not overly phenomenal though, is it, but, um, or but, sorry, yeah, I think we could get 35-ish for that one. Might squeeze a bit more out of it. And these... They're like... Fused glass. With some... Like enamel? I don't know. But they're signed. I've never really been able to... Identify the maker. I think I spent 50 pence each on these. Just one of them signed. So, there, it's a signature there. But, but, sorry, I'm getting my teas. Yeah, they're difficult to photograph. I've tried to photograph these before, um, but the back wasn't right and it wasn't bringing you know it just didn't bring them out perfectly so I put them back to do again um so I have some amazing bags but I don't think I'm going to put in bags on yet that's crocodile leather this is a nice vintage one oh this Russian fur hat that's a good one. Might stick that one on. See, I've got a load of hats here. I was going to put them on as a bundle. Oh, okay. What can I see? Um, yeah, there's like two dressy ones, but you know there are there there are imperfections. That one's Kangol. This one is Mitzi Lorenz, London, and then there's like two others in there. But yeah, I was going to put them on as a bundle. Um, this enamel. 
metal teapot. I'm going to stick that on. Oh, that's delft. I, I kept forgetting I got that. Right, you come out as well. Just the price on that one. It wouldn't have been more than a few pounds. And then maybe leave that one. This is really nice though. I'm actually tempted to keep that myself because of the style of it. That's Noritake. These are... It's like... It's by nature and it's like organic, all natural stones, shells and stones and turquoise and pearls. That one's just mainly pearls. Yeah, I'm going to stick that one together. And then, yeah, how this little cat? And my cat seemed to do well, so... It's by Salco. So I'll stick that on. How many is that there? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I think I will start with those. Okay, so the first item that's sold, which I would 100% buy again next year, is this. It's quite a very a small plaque. It's probably about um maybe seven inches by five um it's manolis patramanis art sculpture i didn't know what it was but as you can see you would pick this up you can see it's something it's signed there in the bottom right hand corner um a google search bought this up fairly easily 85.99 the second item i wanted to show you was this check glass vase now i did record myself picking this one up so it's in one of the previous videos you just know it's something special this was unsigned but because of the submerso effect just the size of it the weight of it it was just so obvious it was something so again um quite easy to find the maker i got an offer of 100 and 10 and yeah 100 percent pick that one up next year if you come across it these were brilliant i have never picked these things up before but as you can see they had age they had stamped london on them they are antique book binding spine stamps um, i had them on for 82.99 and i got an offer for 60 so happy to accept that one again this one was in a video um it's was it just actually it might just be the very last video i did this was a mycin blue cross swords gold white dish plate um absolutely stunning i picked this up for 10 pounds i got an offer of 150 pounds um yeah 100 percent the blue swords at the back with the quality painting pick it up Number five is this Willy Sukop. Um, this was a possible Willy Sukop piece because it was unsigned, um, but there was such quality in the carving. Absolutely stunning piece. I had it on for £150 with free postage. I was trying to compete with another few sellers of a Willy Sukop piece, so um, we got an offer of 100 and I snapped it up. This is another handkerchief bowl now i have gone over handkerchief bowls before in previous videos um now i couldn't identify the maker of this this wasn't a chance glass piece that i could tell but i put it on for 43.99 and i got an offer of 35 so i was really happy with that i picked this up for two pounds the handkerchief vases they don't look hugely high quality because their edges aren't polished um they they just have a cheap feel to them but they are well collected um especially ones with certain designs so always check the design of the the handkerchief vase i couldn't find another one with this therefore i put rare and i got a few watches straight off the bat and within a week i got an offer of 35 so yeah happy to let that go this was another unsigned piece um, and it just had lovely lines. I picked this up for a pound or two. Um, again, 
modernist sculpture, Asian Chinese nude female figurine seated signed. Um, oh, it might have been signed then. I just didn't identify it. So yeah, this one is. Uh, I had on for 55, I believe I got an offer for 40, so super happy to accept that. Just look for things that have good lines, um, stylish, that's what people like. It doesn't have, you don't have to identify the maker um, necessarily to make the sale. Okay, number seven, I believe, James Kent Chintz Apple Blossom Toast Track. I had this on for $38.99 and I got an offer for $32. So really happy with this one again. Next is this vintage collection of jewellery. This went to uh to £38 pounds with 11 bids. So I was really happy with that. It's just, it's costume jewellery. I tested the bracelet in the top right hand corner. Um, It wasn't gold so it's just a collection of costume jewelry and the final one was just sold just before christmas and i would a hundred percent pick this piece up again and again and again uh, it was an extra large mid-century modern murano italy glass bowl it was stunning i think i picked this up for four or five pounds it was ridiculous so yeah super happy with this piece Oh, wish me luck with my death pile. Um, I'm going to need it. <laughs> uh, so yeah, just keep going. Keep listing. Just little and often. Um, a little shop like mine, I have the basic shops of 250 um, fixed price and then 50 a month auctions. So yeah, just keep keep your listings up there. You know, mine, mine slipped a little bit, but you know, what you can do it can only do so much november was crazy for me as well as most resellers will generally find november is a crazy month every year it is generally the same even through covid was generally a, a, such a busy month compared to any other month um december it slows down a little bit and then january it picks up again so while we have our lull it's a good time to go through any death pile that you've got that you've built up through the year start 2023 on you know a few nice clean shelves and you know ready to to fill up again you know who knows what 2023 is going to bring who knows you know who knows what we're going to find so i hope you enjoyed the video and i will see you next time